welcome to another episode of Union Organized and Resilient. My name is Michelle Keller. I'm a retiree of DC 37, New York, New York City. Today's topic asks, are you delegating tasks and responsibilities to build the union collectively? Well, now, we say members need to be more engaged it eases us and avoids the burnout. This is our union, not an insurance plan, something that we must do to make our union work. Webster's Dictionary defines delegating as entrusting a task and responsibility to someone else, but also the power that comes with it to get the job done. So delegating, how does it get done? Choose the worker, worker volunteer, of course, capable of performing the task. For instance, what's the knowledge of that individual? What's their experience? And how eager are they to get involved and actually handle the assignment? Sometimes you can see something in someone that they can't really see in themselves. Provide those resources. What is needed to carry out the assignment? Is it money? Is it time? Is it people? Access to both the union and our community partners. Explain and make clear the objectives of your assignment. What's your strategy? What are your goals? What are the results? What do you expect to see happen? What roles are necessary? Who has the authority? Where's the trust? And a timeline to get things done. Be accountable amongst each other. Stay in contact with the workers, the delegate, the shop steward, and then monitor and evaluate the progress. Observe what results are going on and acknowledge the workers. Give them feedback. Finally, and yet so dear, offer due credit and appreciation for a job well done. Say thank you and keep the team spirit flowing. Build a union together and don't operate as a Lone Ranger. Thank you so very much.